Hey guys, Smoking Ray's here. Today we're gonna to show you how I make ribs and hopefully you guys can try this recipe too. Get ourselves a nice St. Louis cut spare rib here. And we're, first we're gonna do is flip it over. See this right here? We got silver skin right here we need to take off. We get this off, then the flavor on the bottom of the rib, the rub will be able to penetrate the bottom without removing it. You'll get no flavor on the bottom of the rib. Start to peel back just a little bit like that. Grab ourselves a, a napkin. Go ahead and peel that off. And this little flap here, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take this off so that the rib on the bottom cooks evenly. We don't want no excess right here. We wanna be able to get this rib to cook evenly. And this part, see how it's thin? We're just gonna go ahead and take that off. It looks a little bit more uniform. And what we'll do is come over here, square that one up. This little part here, go ahead and take that off. So we went ahead and cut this part off because as you can see here, it's unedible. No one's gonna be able to eat that. More square right there. And we have all the meatier parts right there. What we're gonna do first is we're gonna season the bottom of the rib so we can let that marinate. And what I like to use is a Seven Sins barbecue pork rub. Give a little bit of salty on the bottom. We're gonna go ahead and season that up. You don't gotta go too much, just a nice, even coat on the bottom. That's the part that's gonna hit your tongue first. That's what you're gonna taste first. Pat it in just a little bit so it sticks. So now that we season the bottom, what we're gonna do is we're gonna flip it over and we're gonna hit it with a couple more different rubs. Next one we like to use is the pecan. Give it a little bit of sweet on the flavoring. Give it a nice good color. Give that a nice little rub down. What we're gonna do next, we're gonna hit it with an all-purpose rub. This is nice, uh, salty, savory. Balance out the sweetness of it. Now we let it set for about 10, 15 minutes. Let the rubs kind of marinate in with the meat. Be ready to go onto the grill. All right guys, today we're cooking on this 55 gallon UDS drum. Usually we do a three, two, one method, but cooking on this cooker right here, we'll cut that in half. Now you can't just get these at any retail store. You actually have to uh, look for someone to actually custom build them for you. Now that we have our chimney full, take our fire starter, set it right there. Go ahead and get it lit. Set our chimney here. We wait for it to start. All right, today we're gonna be using the Flame Boss 500. This is an air draft system that we connect to our UDS smoker. And what it does is regulates the heat. You can set it to a certain temperature you need and never have to mess with it again. And it keeps it consistent throughout the whole cook until you power it off. So now that our charcoal is white, hot, and ready to go, we go ahead and pour it into the basket. We went ahead and we put our grate at the bottom, right above our charcoal basket. What we do next is we put a deflector plate over that so that we don't get no flare up and the food does not burn and it uh, makes for an even cook. Go ahead and take our deflector plate, set it down. Go ahead and take our grate, get it ready for the ribs. We're gonna take our Flame Boss fan, we'll go ahead and connect it down here to the bottom. Turn on our battery pack, get it powered on. Take our pit probe, go ahead and set it on the grate so we know exactly what temp we're cooking at. Once we get that in there, come over here and we can set our pit temp to 300. It's set to 300, now we wait for it to get up to the proper temp before we put our ribs on. Now, if we don't have a flame boss, what we do, how we control the temp is the intake up here. Close it halfway, medium heat, open it up full, you have screaming hot temperature. Now that we let the rub set for about 15 minutes, as you can see, it's all absorbed into the meat and it's about ready to get thrown onto the smoker. Now that our smoker is up to 300 as we uh, set it to, we're gonna go ahead and take the ribs and we're gonna throw it on there. Now we're gonna get the lid on. Make sure it's nice and closed. 
We're gonna grab a beer and we're gonna start backyard chilling. All right guys, the ribs have been on for a little bit. We're gonna go ahead and take a peek at them, see how they're doing. What we're looking for is the pullback on the bone and see if they're ready to be wrapped. Here we go, check it out. The ribs are ready to be wrapped, so we're gonna go ahead and pull them off, get them set in the foil and get them back on the smoker. Pull them off, get them in our foil pan. Get everything set up. The lid back on. Keep that temp where we need it to be. First thing we do is we got our foil laid out. We're gonna take a little bit of brown sugar. Go ahead and sprinkle it in there. A little bit more. We're gonna go ahead and take our rubs that we used earlier to season the ribs. Add a little bit more flavor back into the ribs. Once we do that, go ahead and grab the ribs. We wanna put it meat side down. Once we got that down, we hit it. One more rub. Then, the magic. Get the butter on there. And then, go ahead and wrap it up and get it back on the smoker for about another half hour. meat side down. I think it's time for another beer. All right, the ribs have been on for about 30 minutes. Let's open up the lid, open up the foil, and see how they look. As you can see from the bone pull back here, the ribs are done. We're ready to pull them off out of the foil, get them sauced, and back on the smoker for about another 15 minutes. All right, now that we have the ribs sauced, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and put them back on the smoker for about another 15 minutes. Let the sauce tine, uh, glaze up a little bit and they'll be ready to eat. Ribs have been on for about 15 minutes. The sauce set on the ribs. We're gonna go ahead and pull them off, get them sliced up. We're gonna go ahead and flip this rack over, get it cut. The reason why we flip it over is we're able to see the, where the bones are laying and lined up. So we're not cutting into the bone. We can get a nice fresh cut every time. All right guys. Now here is the finished product of the ribs we cooked on our UDS with the Flame Boss. Only thing left to do is take a bite. 